Hey guys, it's Norm from Tested, and today, finally, after this phone has been on the market for four months, I've been using it for a month, it's finally available, I'm reviewing Google's Nexus 4 smartphone. So this is a phone actually made by LG. It's very comparable to the Optimus G also released last year. But a couple things, really important things to note about this phone that you might have heard. One, Google is selling this off contract. That's right, that means if you're in the US, you don't need to sign on to a two-year contract or even a three-year contract in Canada to buy this phone. That's a really big deal. And at its off contract price, it's only $300 or $350, which is a really, really great price. The second really big thing to note is that there's no LTE on this phone, which could be a bit of a problem for some people because the last Galaxy Nexus had LTE. In my use case, no LTE on a GSM phone with AT&T and T-Mobile, in San Francisco at least, wasn't a big problem for me. I had about 20 megabits connection downstream, which is fine for browsing the web and even playing video. The only difference between this and my iPhone 5 was that video buffering was a little slower. So let's talk about the hardware on the inside. Inside, this phone is powered by a Snapdragon S4 processor made by Qualcomm and has two gigabytes of RAM. You don't need to know those specs. What you need to know is that this phone is buttery smooth. Going through the UI, using any app, any game, will be perfectly fine on this phone for this year and years to come. It's more than fast enough for any app you'll download today, and I didn't experience any of the hitching I normally experience with previous Android phones. The screen is also extremely nice. It's a 4.7 inch, 1280 by 768 resolution screen, which is a little weird aspect ratio. That's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. What that meant was that the screen never felt too narrow. On my iPhone 5, I could only use it with one hand to browse basically mobile sites or Twitter feeds. Here I could see entire web pages, pinch a zoom, no problem. The screen is really nice. It's glass in the front and glass in the back. Some people had problems breaking the back of the phone. I've dropped this twice and have not had this broken. There's also a really nice gentle curve on both the right and left side of the phone. So swiping from left to right was really nice. The Nexus 4 comes bundled with Android 4.2. 4.22 now, which is Google's stock Android OS. What you're gonna get with the Nexus phone is the latest Android version whenever Google releases the newest version of Android. So this year, when they release Android Keyline Pi, you'll get that probably on the Nexus 4 before you get it on something like a Galaxy S3. There are a bunch of small updates to 4.2 Jelly Bean on this phone, including an improved notification bar and also a better camera app, and all these things help on the phone. Speaking of the camera, there's an 8 megapixel camera on the back of the phone and a 1.2 megapixel camera on the front of the phone, both made by Sony sensors. I found the image quality to be very good, but not as good as the iPhone 5, especially in low light. With the camera app, there also is a unique feature mode called Photospheres. It was okay shooting landscapes, but indoors didn't work quite well. Finally, because this phone has no LTE, battery life was actually really good. I could use this with a fair amount of web browsing and tweeting and daily usage for about two days without having to charge the battery, and on Wi-Fi only, even more than two days. Google also sells a $60 wireless charger that can use the Nexus 4 that uses magnets, and it will allow your phone to display some ambient information, but it was a little finicky when I used it. So you can buy the Google Nexus 4 in Google's Play Store right now. The eight gigabyte version costs $300, and if you want to get 16 gigabytes, that'll cost an extra $50. I recommend getting that model because there's no micro SD slot on this phone. So if you don't need an LTE connection and can live with something like HSPA Plus in the US or Canada, I would highly recommend the Google Nexus 4, even more so than the Samsung Galaxy S3. At $300 or $350, that price is simply incredible. I'm Norm, we'll see you next time, bye.